I'm off the better things. I'm only doing shit that's gonna make me elevate. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I achieve this look, the two birdie ponytails, then keep on watching. First, we're going to start with freshly washed hair as always. Then we're going to go in with this braid formula. Y'all, this works so well. But we're going to part the hair straight down the middle because we are doing two pigtails. And once we get our part situated, we're going to go in with that braid formula. This is the super hold. And we're just going to perfect our part so it can be, you know, real sleek and clean. And we're going to go back in with the comb, you know, to clean up some more. Once you get your part as clean as neat as possible, you want to go ahead and section off one side of your hair and we're just going to work with the other side. What I did was I split mine in half so I can work, you know, with smaller sections to make sure I get like a real sleek look because as you can tell, I'm not using heat. So we're going to go in with that braid formula. Y'all, once you apply this, you want to get like a good amount, like don't be stingy with it. Use a lot because it's really going to hold your hair and get that sleek look. Um, once you put it on, you want to go ahead and start brushing as soon as you put everything that you need because it does start to harden fast and you don't want that because you want to be able to brush your hair in the way that you want it to lay. Once you get everything smooth, you're going to go in with the got to be freezing spray and just spray the whole section. Don't be stingy with this either. This is going to hold your hair and I'm just going to do the same thing with the top portion. And if you want the baby hair effect, go ahead and take those out before you start applying product to the top half because you don't want the product to get on your baby hair. Or if you don't want any, you just want the sleek look, just go ahead and follow up with the same procedure that we did at the bottom. Now once you put both sections together, you're going to go in with the blow dryer. The blow dryer is just going to go ahead and freeze that got to be freezing spray even faster and make it very hard. And 
And when you finish one side, you're going to go to the other side and do the exact same thing and you should get the exact same results. Now we're going to get our braiding hair. I did use Expressions pre-stretch hair. Um, now I'm just going to separate my ponytail into three so I can get ready to start braiding my hair. Then I'm going to go in with the braid formula again to put on those sections because I do have a blunt cut and I don't want any flyaways so I'm just going to go ahead and secure those right now before I start braiding. And you want to get the desired amount of braiding hair. It depends on if you want your braid to be thick or thin. Um, actually this side I messed up and you guys will see. So this braid was thin and I did not like it. So um, I had to take it down and use a bigger piece. And I'm sorry, but I really don't know how to explain how I just put that piece on there. But once you put it on there, you do want to um, get a little piece and sit it to the side because that's going to be the part that you wrap around your braid once you're done. And this is when I realized that my braid was smaller than what I wanted. So I just stopped doing it and I went to the other side and I didn't record from the beginning because I just showed y'all the beginning and it's the same thing on both sides. But this is how thick I prefer my braid to be. So I'm just going to braid all the way down to the bottom and once I get to the bottom I'm going to put a rubber band. And I did want curly ends, so once I put the rubber band, I did go in with a flexi rod and wrapped the ends around a flexi rod. And after that, we're going to grab that extra piece that I told y'all to sit to the side and we're going to wrap it around the base of the braid. And we're going to spray got to be freezing spray as we wrap so you're going to wrap and then spray the spray and then wrap again until you're done now it's time to take this mess down and redo it so this is the thicker braid and it matched the thickness of the other side and we're just going to keep doing the same thing. Braid it all the way down, put the rubber band, and get the flexi rod. Now I did put heat on my edges to give me that effect that I wanted, the curl effect. So what I'm going to do is just take my edge flatter and go around to each side and wrap it under to give it that curl. And then I'm going to go in with the got to be sparkling glue. And we're just going to put a little bit on, just a little bit y'all. And try not to get it on the actual curl, just get it like at the root and perfect your edges to your liking. Now it's time to get that hot steaming water and we are gonna dip our ends with the flexi rod in that hot water so our ends can curl and once you get it out of there you want to dab it dry with a um, a towel 
and once you do that you can unravel them and you'll be done and this is the result so i hope you guys like it give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see y'all in the next one now she got youtube going crazy no that's destiny it's her world your favorite girl your baller girl your scholar girl she own it she popping